What's going on YouTube, The Apophis here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video looks a whole lot different than what you're used to, and that's because it is. If you didn't know, I'm a part of a country club uh, that plays Tiger Woods together. In the, in the country club, it's comprised mostly of YouTubers. So it's fairly competitive, but in a friendly way. Um, and I'm pretty good. I, I'm not trying to be arrogant or an asshole, but I'm, I'm pretty good, and I typically post pretty good scores when we play the tournaments against each other. For example, the last two or three I've won, and I've posted scores of 18 under, uh, 16 under, and some other ridiculous score. So what I wanted to do is make a quick video for you about what goes through my head when I play a little bit of Tiger Woods here. So, hopefully, if you are interested in Tiger Woods or are playing, you'll learn a little about how to post some decent scores. That one was close. Okay, so, first and foremost, this is a perfect time. I think that being good at Tiger Woods has everything to do with whether or not you can putt. So, my basic putting principles are to press down on the left stick and look at this. It says it's level and there's no slope. That's semi-true because we can see a little bit of slope here but I only worry about the grid squares that my ball is gonna go through so if you look off to the right there's a lot of things moving right and left and off behind the hole a lot of things moving right to left I ignore all of that you only gotta worry about where your ball is gonna go this one is only an 11 foot putt with a very minimal slope so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna push it out a little bit to about 12 feet and off to the right and now we're gonna preview that this really has no break to it. So I'm going to pull it back to about the middle of the hole, just to be sure, to the right slightly, because there's that slight break, and we're going to take our swing. And that should be good enough for a birdie. So here's the deal. I'm only going to take you through nine holes, because I don't want to waste too much of your time. And I think I can really say everything I need to say in those nine holes. So we're going to get back to putting next time we hit the green, but right now we're going to talk about my drives. My guy is a power golfer and most of my attribute points are in my power uh, skill. What I like to do when I drive is pull back farther. See if you come to here and forward, it's a little under the total backswing, a little under, okay? But if you hold it, you'll see it turn red and I'll show you that right now. See how it turned red? That means I went above my backswing. That's not always bad. For a power golfer, that's going to give me a little added distance. So what I like to do is go red, and then I try to go red coming forward. And I usually get green, but sometimes I get red. And what that does is it allows me to get just a tiny bit more distance. Let's double check this aim point and take this shot. The other thing I do is I use spin. And I mash the shit out of the A button, and I put as much spin on my ball as I can. That's another one of my attributes that I decided to put a lot of points in because I like long drives long drives however are not the key to this game and I'll show you that in a hole or two one of the things that you need to look out for aside from the wind is the le how far the green is below or above your feet we can see that it's six feet below me right now and I do very bad when I'm shooting at a green that's below me so I'm gonna pull this uh, a little short Actually, I'm going to take this three yards short than what it needs to be because of the two mile an hour wind and the green is sloped down and hopefully we can set this close. But it doesn't matter if we do or not because it's all about putting anyway. Good. Now, even though the game is all about putting, if you can get it within 10 feet on your approach, you make your putting a thousand times easier. So again... I press down on the stick and now we can see that I do have a little bit of a slope not by much I'm more worried about what's above me and what's below me as far as my feet go the the forward and back stuff that's easy to adjust it's the left and right that's tough so the ball's one foot or one degree above my feet which means I'm gonna need to aim to the right just a tad bit and we can see that it's sloping down so I'm not gonna need to adjust the speed so I'm gonna because this is an eight foot putt, I'm gonna put the arrow right on the outside of the cup and we're gonna hit putt preview. 
What I mean by because it's eight foot, I don't need to aim very much is because the ball is not going to roll on the green. It's not going to be in contact with the green long because it's a short putt. So therefore, your adjustment doesn't need to be major because it's not going to be in contact with the green very long. So you got to keep that in mind. Now, same thing with the wind. This is only a five mile an hour wind, and that can push the ball a lot on long shots. But this shot's only 177 yards, so the, the wind isn't going to affect it much. And we're only four feet short, so I'm actually going to put this right about here. Uh, let's go 179. So hopefully, we get a nice little close shot here. And that's another very solid approach. Very, very solid. Now, I know I say putting's the most important thing, but the second most important thing has to be your shot leading up to the green. The one right before you drop it on the, or the one that you're trying to put it on the green with, if you can get that shot relatively close, then you're gonna be in good shape. Now, this says it's below my feet. So clearly I need to aim to the left because that's where it's being pushed. Because it says 0.9 degrees and that's almost one, that's like a quarter of a grid square on a long putt. But because this is short, we're only going to take it to a little more than the edge of the hole. If this was 10 feet or more, I would move it about a quarter of one of these grid squares. I found that for every one degree, it's about a quarter. And as you see here, we aim and we're pretty much on. And here we go with another birdie. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to go... Especially if you play Tiger Woods, you're going to go, oh, you're only playing on pro difficulty. And I understand that. That's not the easiest the game can be, but it's far from the hardest the game can be. And the only reason I'm, I'm doing this on pro difficulty is because that's what we play on for our country club tournaments and things like that. So I want to show you how I would typically play. I don't always play on this difficulty. A lot of times I step it up to the one a little bit above it or I turn small things off like the ability to read the green with the grid squares or thing or putt preview is one I usually drop um, but for this purpose I'm just gonna give you how most people are gonna play the game which is on pro and uh, I'm just gonna tell you my little tips here so before you start the hate consider that I'm doing this for more people than just yourself now this is up a little bit so sure we're just gonna try this I tend to hit hard, so I, I try not to aim too much on upslopes. And this should be money. There you have it. That It's hard to get closer than that. It really, really is. And this is an easy putt, but you know what? If it doesn't let you putt preview, it means you can't fuck it up. So just take your shot. And there we have another birdie. All right. Now, a lot of this stuff goes out of the window if you start adding lots of wind or crazy weather into your game. Um, and in all honesty, when those things are put into the game, I'm not the best at it. I feel like I adjust uh, in a mediocre manner. A lot of people can adjust better than I can. Um, and good for them because I find it hard. But in clear weather like this, I'm going to be a hard individual to beat when it comes to playing this game. Now, granted, I'm not some elite Tiger Woods pro online golfer or whatever the fuck. Those guys are insanely good. And I don't even know how you would remotely do that. Um, it's pretty much all mathematics, though. So if you're a math whiz, you could post some pretty solid scores here. So we got a par 5 coming up the next hole. And then we got a, a par 3 after that. And then we go to a par 4. So on hole 7... I will demonstrate to you why a long drive isn't important. But for now, we just gotta finish this hole out. Hmm. Again, on your shot leading to the green, if you can get it within 10 feet, you're gonna have an easy time. Now, I want you to visualize in your head where I should put this, this putt arrow. Because in all honesty, if you've made it to the fifth hole, that means you have some kind of interest. So visualize in your head where I would put this. Go ahead, I'll even give you the numbers. 
Okay, six degrees below your feet and six degrees under your feet, like down slope. You got it? Okay, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna aim. Because it's only a six foot putt, I'm gonna aim right here. And it's gonna put me right in the hole. Is that where you aimed? If it isn't, then you have to make sure you consider the distance of your putt as well as the slopes. And here we have another birdie. I feel like putting is hard for a lot of people because they they understand how to read the left and rights and the ups and downs of the green, but they don't understand how the fact the distance. Like when they're reading the green, they don't take into account the distance uh, of their putt. That was a horrid shot. Um, and you have to do that. You have to think about how far is this putt. And that's very important because the farther it is, the more it's in contact with the green and the more it's going to be influenced. So keep that in mind if you're the type of person that's like, man, I swear I'm reading this right, but I keep missing. Well, are you including the distance of the putt? Now, shots like this are important. If I, you'll see on the bottom right hand corner, I moved this red little reticle. When I first came on here, it was like this. That's going to be a bad strike with the ball. The game tries to fuck with you. So you need to put it to where you hit the ball solidly. If I'd have caught the top of it, that wouldn't have happened. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a par putt because I messed up my my first tee shot there. But we're just going to putt preview because this is the easiest green ever. Hopefully, that's what you would have done. And we're just going to swing away. I got lucky there. I got to start paying attention to my swing. Par threes for me are the hardest holes in this game because I like to hit hard and as you saw with my tee shot and it kind of always does that type of thing for me. So par threes are where I struggle but here's a par four. Let's see. 440 to the flag. So instead of hitting this as hard as I can, let me take, let me take some other clubs here. I'm going to take this hybrid and this isn't always smart but this is why punting is more important than driving. It's a par four, so I should reach the green on my second shot. With a driver, it would be very easy to do because the driver would put this very nicely down there in the fairway. Now that I'm hitting a shorter hybrid though, this, this second shot to get on the green is gonna be a little tough. But what I'm trying to demonstrate is that you can get on the green with two medium sized shots versus one monster shot and one short shot. And that's why putting is more important than driving. Because as you'll see right here, we're on the green. Not only are we on the green, but we're on the green when we're supposed to be. That's the other key thing. You want to try to hit everything in regulation. If you can do that, you'll post good scores. So now I'm just taking a second here to evaluate the green. We see that it's 14 feet, so these slopes aren't crazy, but as I said time and time again, the ball is in contact with the green for a long time, so it's going to have an impact. So I'm going to push this a little bit just because it's a long putt, and I'm going to aim just outside the cup because it's not much of a break, and we're going to move it back over to the outside edge. Okay, that should give us a birdie. Oh, I hit it too soft. Uh, I got lucky. I got lucky on that one because my swing was crap. Now on that last hole, we saw that my swing was a little crap on the putt. So I want to demonstrate to you what a good swing would be. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, you can kind of see the swing path. Um, it, that's obviously perfect. You don't have to get it perfect though. That, it's still, that's going to carry a little bit. If you have a little bit of a wobble to it, not that. That's horrid. It's actually hard to, for me to not hit a decent shot. Like that, you're going to be okay. You're not going to get the most distance, but you're going to be okay. Um, one of the ways that I manage to always pull perfect swings generally, that, perfectly acceptable. You're going to hit it pretty, pretty solid like that on pro difficulty. That would have carried a little. Um, what I do is if you look at your Xbox stick, you see that it's concave. Instead of using my thumb in the meaty part, like as I would for Call of Duty or something like that, 
I use the very tip right underneath my fingernail and I put it on the very lip of the controller like right before it rolls into that concave part and that's what I pull back with and push forward with and when I push forward I kind of roll the stick so that I'm pushing the edge with the meaty part of my thumb or a little bit under where my nail was if that makes sense so now that we have that down let's go ahead and take this shot as you can see I missed a little bit but it didn't really influence my ball all that much uh, it influenced it more than the wind did definitely but it's not enough to really throw you off um, and if you're gonna learn as you play the game that you have a tendency to miss one direction you'll always miss to the left or you typically always miss to the right and you just adjust for that in your aim and the only way to figure that shit out is to play the game so there's nothing I can really tell you there actually we won't worry about that because it's only a couple inches and this is a nice little shot slow it down some very nice I can't believe that we almost just put that in the hole but that's gonna make for an easy preview and another easy shot so one of the things I would suggest if you want lower scores is to go to the practice facility in this game practice your putting 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 and then practice short shots like just getting onto the green shots don't worry about your drives I've proven to you that drives are worthless and it's about the shot that gets you on the green getting a good setup there and it's about putting and nine times out of ten putting is more important than that approach shot if you would like to see more videos like this where I play Tiger give you guys a little tips along the way um, live comment like I'm doing now uh, just talk about how I play how I feel about the game let me know in the comments below this isn't something that I intend to do on a frequent basis I understand that this is definitely not everybody's cup of tea um, but I wanted to put it out there for some of the guys that I do play with uh, that do watch my videos so they can kind of get like an inside look at how I play um, as well as for you I know a lot of us are burned out when it comes to COD and this is just another game that you could possibly pick up and play if it looks interesting to you to be honest you don't have to know anything about golf to have fun with Tiger Woods and it's very competitive with yourself versus competitive with the people you're playing so give it a look download the demo there's a free demo on the xbox live marketplace i encourage you to give that a look and uh you know try it out maybe you'll find a new game that you've never played before or never would have played and that you'll like it so this is a little bit more of an aim because the putt is 14 feet but i'm going to preview this and my distance is a little off and my aim is a little off this is a oh, this is an easier adjustment than you know being a grid or two off. So I'm gonna pull this about a cup over, and we're gonna push this back to about 18 feet, and that should drop us really close, if not in the hole. There you have it, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is an eagle to finish this out. We are nine under in nine holes. So if you want to get better at playing Tiger Woods. Feel free to go back, watch this video, and make sure you practice. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like more of this. We'll see you next time.